now I am going to start a VIP configuration. The VIP configuration is used to publish our internal DMZ server for the outside users. They can access our internal server by the use of a public IP. So let me show you my network interfaces. I have a couple of network interface. First is the WAN port, which has the IP of 192.168.1.449. And the second one is LAN interface having the IP of 172.16.3.1 and the network is slash 24. So in my internal zone, I have one web server, which is Ubuntu server. Let me show you this server. This is the server. This is a web server running on port 80, 172.16.3.11. So the IP of this machine is, if we do if config, we can see that the IP of this machine is 172.16.3.11 and it's in the zone, internal zone of the firewall. So what I want to do now is, I want to access that since on the port 80 of the public IP of this firewall 192.168.1.49 we are using management so I want to access that in some other ports like uh, I want to access like this 192.168.1.49 like this I want to access like this this is the external IP and I want to access that web server on this IP port number 8888 so let me show you how we can do this first we will go to on the policies and objects virtual IP create new virtual IP we'll name this Ubuntu One second name this Ubuntu with we can keep the interfaces any external IP address will be our WAN IP 192.168.1.49 and the mapped IP address will be the IP address of the Ubuntu server 22.16.3.11. We'll check port forwarding here. The external port service here, which we called 8888, will be the external port service. 8888. And map to port will be 80. Because that web server is running on port 80. Okay, so we can see here the IP 192.168.1.49 will be translated to 172.16.3.11 and the port 8888 will be translated to port 80. Now we'll go to the firewall policies to allow this change. We'll name this one two with the traffic will come from outside interface with van and this will go to the LAN interface. The source can be any one thing, so select all here. In the destination, we need to select the VIP which we just created. This is one to VIP services can be anything so select all even though we can select just the services which we have allowed but since in the VIP we have already mentioned which ports to allow so we don't need to select that specific port we can select services all here accept NAT should be on and we can do okay now 
and we will go ahead now on this page we'll click reload on this page now okay that's it done so we can see it's very easy to configure a whip or in some vendors we call this destination map in Vertigate. it's very easy and we can also see the since this website has worked so we'll see some traffic on that policies firewall policy which we created so in the bytes here we can see now it's zero byte but if we refresh this page we can we should see some traffic here let me go on some other tab and come back here there you go we have some traffic here like 11 byte so it's very easy to configure with that's it for this video if you need any other video on 48 firewall you can just mention in the comment and you can subscribe this channel if you like this video that's it